This aquarium got over 600,000 views on YouTube. This very aquarium. This glass box. Almost 700,000 views on YouTube. Absolutely serious. That aquarium belonged to Peck Tech until just a couple of weeks ago when he very kindly gave it to me. You can check out his YouTube channel and look for the Fluval Edge video. Check it out. At the time I'm recording this, 684,000 views on the Fluval Edge 6 gallon aquarium. Way to go, Peck Tech. I'm not sure if I can match that. <laughs> no way I can get that many views. But I have to get started aquascaping somehow. And at least I know my aquarium is awesome. This is going to be my first aquascaping project. What an aquascaping launch pad. No pressure? No pressure. Do my best. I'm going to have fun with it. Thank you for coming along for the ride. If this is the kind of thing you like watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button right over in there someplace. It's how the channel grows. I appreciate you being here. If you know someone else who might enjoy this, why don't you share it on your social media? I would appreciate it very much. If you have aquascaping tips, why don't you comment below? I'm just learning. This is my first attempt and I'm open to suggestions. Please give me some suggestions. What do you think? Wasn't that nice of Peck Tech? Peck Tech is a great guy. Very generous. I really appreciate him contributing to the River Life effort. I hope I don't let him down. Here we go. Easy peasy. Cheers, River Lifers. You take care. Keep on scaping. Cheerio. Yeah, I don't know, George. This may be something I should leave to you experts. You made it look so easy at the aquatic experience I was watching and just feeling like I wanted to try that. I knew I could do it. It's just harder than it looks. River Life, you don't have to make this complicated. Take small steps before you start to run. Most importantly, make sure you enjoy the project. You'll be surprised how well the scape looks when you're finished. Now get scaping. Grasshopper, you must it is the way. Well, there you have it. My very first attempt at aquascaping. No pressure. George Farmer, Sean Peck. Who else is going to watch this? Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? I'm glad you watched. Not horrible, maybe. Could have been better. Pretty good, I think. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming along. Well, that was a lot of fun. Not nearly as scary as I thought it would be, and I enjoyed every part of it, especially the creativity. The finished product, uh, gosh, is it ever finished? I don't know. It's an organic piece of art. I hope that it settles down really quickly and I can put some nice stock in there. What do you recommend? Leave me a comment below. What would you put in this first aquascape attempt? Shrimp? Nano fish? I don't know. Invertebrates? Help me. What would you put in there? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to put in there. Help me out. Leave a comment below. I'd like to know what you'd put in there. Well, when you start with the foundation of an aquarium that's got over 600,000 views on YouTube, you want to give it your best. And I did. I went all out. I got the best supplies from the best vendors. 
assembled them the best way that I knew how, got advice from the best aquascapers that I know in the world. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. I think this is a good aquarium to follow. This could become a serial video. The update on the Fluval Edge with over 600,000 YouTube views. Check it out. Check it out. Tell your friends to check it out. Share it on your social media. Share it all around. There's enough to go around. Share it. Put it out there. Put it out there. Ah, some twists, some turns, some unexpected things going on, but you just kind of, you lean into it. You go with the flow. You let happen what's going to happen. At one point, the uh, aquascape starts speaking to you, right? Letting you know what it wants to become. I'd like to get more in touch with that vibe. How about you? Are you in touch with that vibe?